Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pac-Man World Rally. Last time, we beat, hold on, last time we beat the Cherry Cup. Uh, this time, we're, we're gonna take on the Grape Cup. Now, we used, we chose Pac-Man last time. So, who are we gonna pick this time? Let's see, I feel like playing a lightweight. So, that'll leave me with either Pinky, Clyde, uh, or the Prince. And, oh, and Junior as well. And Erwin. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's play the Prince. Because why the hell not? And I want, and I want, and Clyde's one of my favorite characters in this game just because of how goofy his car is and the fact that he has a, has a little bowler hat. And like whenever when he passes people, he just kind of lifts, tip, like tips his hat and all that. Uh, anyway, in the last episode, I mentioned how some music, how some music in the game uses like motifs from other Namco arcade games. This is the one that has the Pac-Mania uh, one in here. Whether it's Block Plaza or Pac-Man Park, I don't remember which one it was. Well, that's unfortunate. Back when I was a kid, I used to have a lot of trouble with the Nightmare difficulty. But then again, I think I use light characters, which don't have the best top speed, and then I figured out, oh, I just have to use heavy characters, because when you have enough top speed, you just kind of go flying. And then I recently, uh, and when I was unlocking everything so I can do this let's play, uh, for Nightmare difficulty, yeah, I just found out that any, you just have to be, you just have to be good at the game. <laughs> Now, now, I might have a lot more difficulty this go around because I'm using a light character, which doesn't have the best top speed, but I have really good acceleration and handling. Also, uh, one thing I'd like to mention, the little, the little boost comes out of the prince's uh, ears. I guess those were ears. And then, the prince doesn't even have a car. It's just a visible car with, with two, of the, uh, two of the ball things from uh, Katamari. that because the more because the more you're because the more you're driving uh the, the whole key to this is like keep keeping things going except for right there when my controller decided to go like yeah you're no longer drifting to be fair i am using and uh, one like like this is but like the controller i'm using is like i've had this thing since i i was a child Oh no, I missed the pack thing. Oh well. Oh no, Inky's behind me. Let's see, Erwin's also using the shortcut. I honestly don't know what, what I was talking about now because I did all the talking in the first episode. <laughs> Funny how that works. Uh, I guess I can talk about uh, the last play. So this last play is going to be very short because there's only five cups in the game. So if anything, this is kind of like a short in between while I while I try and figure out what I want to do as the next last play. Because uh, like Sluggers took a decent time, Luigi's Mansion took like months to complete because I was being lazy and had school that I had to worry about. I mean now, now I'm at the point where like I just come home. And don't have a lot of school work and I'm doing community college. I'm sure I mentioned that in the at the end of Luigi's Mansion, but but if you guys aren't aware, I uh, I've been uh, I stopped doing uh, regular college, started doing community college, working out a lot better than than regular college. You know, it's just a it's just a grand old time. I, I don't like how the bombs look. But I do like the, uh, they turn into, uh, jets when they're in the air.
Honestly, kind of, I kind of wish uh, Namco made another Pac-Man racing game like this. But like, you know, actually, I mean, like, well, I'm not saying this game is bad. The main issue is that this game I feel is just incomplete because the game came out on PS2, GameCube, uh, Windows, and when I mean Windows, I mean like back in the old days where you just go to the store and buy a PC game and you install it on your computer, not like Steam. Also, this course is a nightmare because of the ice. Alright, that, that worked out, but yeah, you slide everywhere when you try to drift. Also, the music for the stage is also recycled for the, for, for the award ceremony. But yeah, like, this game, I just feel, was incomplete. Like, complete enough for them to release it, but th there was obviously content they wanted to do that just weren't in this, that just ended up not, not being in the game uh, when it was released for consoles. Like, for example, the Dig Dog stage. You may think, oh, that's a... That's unfortunate. You may you may think that uh, th that the uh, Dig Dog stage on the PSP version is exclusive to that, and while that you're right, it is exclusive to that. It was supposed to be in the in the uh, console version because the track actually shows up in the game's opening intro. Now I'm not sure about the now I'm not sure about the characters. Like I'm not sure if the if the characters were meant to be uh, in the console version as well, but the track, I'm 99% sure that it was intended. Alright, go my pack knight. Ir Irwin just hit that random uh, big item block in the air. Okay, you need to get out of my way. God, this track really... S like, whoever made the design for this track is... God, why, why did you go this way? Like, like ice? Seriously? Like, imagine adding ice physics to a racing game. Oh, Arwen's... Oh, I think Arwen is stuck. He is stuck. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Cause it does give you a speed boost, and that way I don't get slowed down by the. Uh, and I'm not in first place anyway. Cause the whole point here is to try and stop uh, first place from getting uh, the thing. Oh, you gotta be effing kidding me there. That is unfortunate. I could have easily won that, but no, the game's like, uh, I think I'm just gonna get you stuck there. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, this is still in first place, but still. As long as I win first in the end, that's all that matters. But still, I am very annoyed because I could have, because I, because I could have very, very easily won that. Like in all honesty, it's just that this game has a lot of jank. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's what I hit Irwin. So this track has a lot of tight turns. 
and when you hit the wall, you stop drifting, which is annoying. Oh, might as well use the shortcuts. Where I'm the only goddamn person using it. Okay, that's interesting. I would thought the rest of the AI would have been following me like that, but no, nope, I guess not. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, honestly, once you're ahead, it's kind of just straightforward because no one's going to catch up to you unless you make a clutch. Unless, like, like freak accident happen, you know, you get hit by a blue shell in the air and you fall off and that sort of thing. Because other than that, it's just basically just kind of like, I mean, just look how, look how far ahead I am. And that's just because the AI decided not to use the short, well, some of them are using the shortcut now. But I ain't helping them much if I'm like this far ahead. drift there, but I guess the game didn't register my R press. Anyway, we're on the last lap. We're... We already won. The... We, are... we already won. Also, look how comically slow Clyde is going. Oop, didn't mean to press that. Oh, well. I meant to, I meant to press the other side button, the X button. Well, it doesn't matter, we win. Yep. Serves you right, game. Serves you right. Now, I do like uh, how some of the tracks here... Like, considering this is Pac-Man World Racing, which is... Loosely based on the Pac-Man World games. The fact that there's a pirate area is actually kind of good because the first, because the first area of the first Pac-Man World game is actually a pirate-themed one. Losers. This course is also this course is also really fun as well. <laughs> Blake, Blakey just makes a does that little uh nah nah like just make a phase he just falls off like a like a goddamn moron Although this course is kind of finicky with the drifting, like... Okay, okay there, this time I think they get hit by them. How are you up here? One thing I don't know 100% is if this game has rubber banding. I thought it was going to fall off there. Hopefully that'll slow him down. Oh, yep, it definitely did. Sadly, I do not have the packing ready because... This track you doesn't have, does not have a lot of pack dots for you to collect stuff on. Mm 
probably should be drifting here, but I already have two. I already have two of them stocked up, and you can only hold up to the three of the uh, of the guardian stuff. And that's that's the sound of either a Galaga ship or a blue bomb. Okay, well now I'm ready for a blue bomb. If it's ever going to show up. What? I think I think the game is just going nuts here. Like, like I don't know why I went down to second, then went third, and like went back up to first. Anyway, that was another easy. Uh, that was another easy cup. Uh, I still can't believe I lost that. <sighs> Got second on them. Uh, on that ice course. Anyway, uh, this time, it's uh, the Prince, Polka, and Blinky. I actually do like Blinky's design in this game. Like, the, the whole goggle thing and him on a rocket just... <laughs> Like I don't know, like it makes it it makes it look kind of good. But anyway, that is it for today's episode. If you enjoy the content I do, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and with that being said, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will do. Uh, hold on, hold on one second. Where we will do the watermelon cup. I think it's the watermelon cup. Yep, watermelon cup. There we go. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, until then, later.